Hey guys, welcome back to the Worthwhile channel. Today I'm going to do a detailed analysis of the HY320 and HY350 projectors. I'll explain all the features of each one, so don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you have any questions, I'll respond to all the comments. So let's get into it. Native resolution. In this comparison, we'll talk about the native resolution of the 350 and the 320. They both support 4K and have a native 1080p resolution, so they're practically the same, and I'm calling it a tie in this aspect. Brightness comparison. I compared their brightness using a lux meter and found a difference of 173 ANSI lumens, more for the HY350. The HY3120 had 700, while the HY350 measured 853. So the point goes to the HY350 in this regard. Therefore, in brighter environments, the HY350 will have better image quality. Focus comparison. In terms of focus, the HY350 has electronic focus, not automatic, so you use the remote to adjust it. The HY320 has manual focus, but both have automatic keystone correction, just like the 350, so another point goes to the HY350, even though some users prefer manual focus adjustment. Let me know in the comments which you prefer. Connectivity and function comparison. Talking about Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi 6, and dual band for both projectors, the operating system is also the same for both, Android 11. The CPU is a quad-core Cortex-A53, and the GPU is the same for both. So, I'll give a point to both projectors in these aspects, because they tie since they're the same. Regarding RAM and internal memory, the HY350 leads the way with double the RAM, as the HY320 only has 1GB. This greatly improves system fluidity, and the internal memory is four times larger than the HY320, so the HY350 also leads in these two aspects. About the speakers, these mid-range projectors struggle with this, okay? So, if you have a Bluetooth speaker or some other speaker to connect to the auxiliary input, it's the best option. But the Hi350 has a 5W speaker and better sound dispersion because it's larger, whereas the Hi320 has a 3W speaker. And since it's smaller, the sound isn't as clear. So, a point goes to the Hi350. Now, the remote control of the HY350 is a bit more comprehensive because it has voice commands and electronic focus adjustment. The HY320 uses the same remote as the HY300, and both are infrared. The projector has infrared inputs on the front and back, so you won't have a problem if you place it at any angle. So, another point goes to the HY350. In terms of angle adjustment and mobility, the HY320 can go up to 180 degrees, just like the HY300, so you can install it anywhere easily. The HY350 is a box, and it doesn't have a screw input underneath for a tripod, so you'll have to keep it still or use some support underneath to raise or lower the projector. So, this point goes to the HY320, because many people when buying a projector think, I want one that's very easy to take from one place to another. The HEI 300 became famous for this because it's very easy to carry around, so a point for our HY320. Regarding the air intake filter, the 3 vm 50 has a removable filter that you can take out and wash, while the HY320 also has a filter, but it's not removable. So I'll give a point to the HY350 because cleaning the filter is much easier than having to open the projector to do this replacement or cleaning. About their weight, the HY320 weighs 9-10 grams and the HY350 weighs about 1 kilo and 300 grams. And now, let's talk about the prices. In the video description and the first pinned comment, I'll leave all the links for you to check out the best options. Remember, these prices may change depending on when you access the city. The HY320 is priced at 49 tolons on AliExpress and 95 tolons on Amazon UK. The HY350 has a big difference in prices, being 84 pols on AliExpress and 299 on Amazon UK. I found only one seller of this projector on Amazon UK, so I believe the price is high, 
due to lack of competition. It's worth noting that Amazon always has promotions and offers discount coupons, so analyze which will be the best purchase for you. Also, remember that purchases made through AliExpress for the UK are subject to a 20% tax that is usually charged at checkout depending on your country of receipt of the product. Amazon may have more competitive prices and also the import tax values may be different. In the final result of our comparison chart, the Hi i350 won more points with 12 points and the Huawei 320 got eight points. The points the Hi i320 wins are very relevant. We're talking about price and mobility, which many people entering the world of projection nowadays prefer because of the mobility that the Huawei 320 offers. If the price isn't a problem for you and you intend to use it in a fixed location, the Ha i350 is the best purchase if you don't want that mobility aspect. It's not that big, but it does have its limitations. It's more for staying in one place with a more controlled environment. The Hey Y320, on the other hand, you can put anywhere. So that's it, guys. The video ends here. So follow along on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and the links are right below the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, Leave them in the comments. See you in the next video.